Alright guys, welcome back to our um, uh, second video here, and this one's going to focus on uh, decomposition reactions. So you saw the first video on composition reactions, and basically decomposition reactions are the exact opposite of those. Uh, to refresh your memory, decomposition reactions are where you take um, a complex substance and break it apart into two or more simpler substances. So uh, again, you're going to need your blue cheat sheet periodic table and um, Unit 3 packet for this. So we're on page 6 now of the, the Unit 3 packet. And we're just going to jump into three examples, and then you guys will be able to practice a couple of them uh, and check your answers on your own. So uh, this first one is the easiest problem um, you're ever going to come across when you have to predict products. You should be hoping and praying that we give you tons and tons and tons of problems like this on your uh, Unit 3 test because they are so, so easy. So, take a look at what you have here. You have CuSO4, a little dot, 5H2O. As soon as you see a dot 5H2O, you have to recognize that as a hydrate. Okay? So this one would be uh, cupric sulfate pentahydrate. Um, so knowing that, let's go to our cheat sheet and look at the decomposition reaction section. So we need to figure out what category we fall under for this reaction. And you're going to notice right off the bat, it's the first one. Um, it's the only one that involves hydrates. So you know it has to be decomp reaction number one for our first example. So a hydrate is going to decompose or break down into two things, an anhydrous salt and water. Anhydrous simply means without water. So uh, do not get confused by this big word and this terminology. All you have to do for a hydrate, for a decomposition reaction, is take away the dot, because that dot means uh, the water is loosely bonded to your salt. And take away the dot and put a plus sign. That's it. Okay? So our anhydrous salt, for our example, is going to be CuSO4. So for our products, all you have to do is rewrite CuSO4, take away the dot, make it a plus sign, and put 5H2O. Doesn't get much easier than that, and you can see it's already balanced. So if you have a hydrate, take away the dot, put a plus sign and you're done. Okay? Uh, let's move on to second one. It's a little more challenging than the first one. Um, you have NaHCO3. So you need to know what that is. And uh, you know Na is sodium. And you should know that HCO3, that ion, is bicarbonate. So you have sodium bicarbonate here for your reactant. So let's go to our cheat sheet and figure out what category this falls under. So go to the cheat sheet. You know it's not the first one. Okay. It's not a metallic oxide. Uh, a metal's involved, Na, sodium, but it's definitely not an oxide. It's not a chlorate. It's not a nitrate at the end. Uh, it's not a carbonate. You know you have sodium bicarbonate, so you have to fall under category 6, which is a metallic bicarbonate. So using your cheat sheet, you look at what the products are going to be for the decomposition of a metallic bicarbonate. And they are simply a metallic carbonate plus H2O liquid plus CO2 gas. Be careful here because you're starting with a bicarbonate and you are ending up with a carbonate. So you need to know the difference between those two ions. So let's go back to our notes and, and write this out. So the first product we're going to have is our metallic carbonate. So what's your metal? Well, it's the first element in our compound. It's Na. So you know Na has a plus one charge. Carbonate is CO3. You need to have that memorized. Negative two charge. What product, um, what formula would those two to make when you combine them. Well, you have a plus one charge here, negative two charge here. You obviously need 
So you have two NAs and one CO3. So you have Na2CO3. That's the hardest part of this because the other two products you have are liquid water. So you have plus H2O. Put a little L in parentheses. And you have CO2, carbon dioxide. And of course, that's a gas. So put a little G in parentheses. All right, uh, we need to see if this is balanced or not. So um, it's not because you have Na over here. There's one of them. And you have two Na's over here on the right. Um, the H's aren't balanced. You have one on the left, two on the right. And the oxygens are not balanced because you have three on the left and one, two, three, four, five, six on the right. This uh, should jump out at you because uh, all you have to do is double everything on the left, and you get a balanced equation. So let's put a coefficient of 2 in front of NaHCO3. You can see we now have two Na's, two H's, two C's, and six O's. And on the right, you have two Na's, two H's, two C's, and six O's three here, one here, and two here. So you're balanced. All right, uh, last one, last example. You have HNO3. Uh, we all know that's nitric acid. So you're writing a formula for the decomposition of nitric acid. As usual, go to your cheat sheet and see what category it's going to fall under. This one should jump right out at you. There's only one of them that incorporates an acid. So that is decomp number seven. So an acid breaks down into a non-metallic oxide plus water. Here's that non-metallic oxide again. Same thing we dealt with for our composition reactions up here in 3 and 5. So we need to make our non-metallic oxide from uh, what we start with. So you need to figure out what the non-metal is, uh, the important non-metal. What is that one in nitric acid? Well, the one that stands out is, of course, the N. Okay. So our non-metallic oxide has to have oxide in it, of course. And we know that is O with a negative 2 charge. You need to find out what that positive charge would be on nitrogen. What's its positive oxidation state? So you go to your periodic table and find nitrogen. And you're going to realize that nitrogen is in the fifth column if you count it over from left to right, like our uh, diagram showed us in the first video. So since nitrogen is in that fifth column, it's going to have a positive charge of plus 5. Remember, you only do this for those starred um, reactions on your cheat sheet, the ones that deal with a non-metallic oxide. So what would our formula be for N with a plus 5 charge, O with a negative 2 charge, our common multiple here is 10, so if we had something like this, N2O5, two N's would give you a charge of plus 10, five O's would give you an overall charge of negative 10. Cancels out, and your charges are zero. So uh, that's what our formula would be for our non-metallic oxide, N2O5. And don't forget the second part from our cheat sheet, plus water, H2O. Okay, how do we balance this? Well, two N's on the right, six O's on the right, <coughs> two H's on the right. Well, again, look on the left. We have one H, one N, and three O's. Simply double everything over here on the left and your equation becomes balanced. Two H's on the left, two on the right, two N's on the left, two N's on the right, six oxygens on the left, five and one right here, of course make six. So your equation is balanced. Okay? So we're doing the same exact thing as composition reactions, except the products in our cheat sheet um, are of course different because you're looking at different reactions in a different category, decomp instead of comp. 
So that's how you do the problems like this. Um, if you guys go to the bottom of page six, there are a handful of examples for you to do. Um, I'll let you guys pause the video, and you can try to do these like we would do in class. Uh, try to do these three examples, and then uh, once you work through them, uh, hit play on the video, resume the video, and you will get to see the final answers that I have posted here. And I'll go through any um, you know, difficulties that you might have with those. So let me pause this. I'll try those and uh, we'll get back to you. Alright guys, hopefully you didn't find those too difficult. Um, here are the answers so you can check over your work. Um, just to give you a brief rundown on uh, how I figured these out, your first one is a metallic carbonate and that is classified as decomp reaction number five uh, and it gives you a metallic oxide plus um, carbon dioxide gas. Okay, um, So CO2, G in parentheses to represent gas form, obviously. This one's balanced already, so you don't need to worry about that. Uh, the second one, you have a metallic oxide. Metallic oxide is uh, decomp reaction number two, and you simply form your metal, which is magnesium, plus oxygen. Remember, oxygen is diatomic, so we need to have O2 written in there. Uh, to balance it, you just put a 2 in front of the MgO here on the left. Okay. Do not forget about that oxygen being diatomic. Last one, uh, strontium nitrate. Uh, clearly falls under the, co uh, the category of decomp reaction uh, number 4, which is a metallic nitrate. Be very, very, very careful with this one when you write the product, because the product is a metallic nitrite. Remember, nitrate is NO3, nitrite is NO2. So when you write your products, you have SrNO2, 2 plus O2 gas. And this one, I believe, is balanced for you already, because you have one Sr on both sides, two Ns on both sides, six oxygens here on the left, four right here, plus two right here, gives you six on the right. And uh, that balances it for you. So, uh, hopefully you guys didn't find this too difficult. Hopefully you found it beneficial. And we will do uh, some more practice problems tomorrow in class. But now you guys have the notes, you have an explanation, so we'll be able to practice more in class next time uh, I see you guys. And hopefully that will lead to uh, some better understanding of this material. Okay, thank you.